welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be doing how I edit my Instagram photos and the reason why I'm doing this video is because you guys have been asking oh my gosh love your theme so much on Instagram and you always ask what do I use to make it look like that what app I use so basically I'm just going to show you how I edit them and like what apps I use stuff like that so anyways let's get into this video okay so basically this is what my feed looks like right now if you scroll all the way down to the bottom i did a black and white theme and i didn't like black and white anymore so this theme is kind of like pink i really like this theme i like it a lot probably will keep it for a long time if i ever change it but um i definitely like it i love the color to it, it like brightens i don't know i just like really like it very much it's super cute and i'm going to show you guys how i use this filter and other filters you can use with the apps i'm using so the first thing you're going to do is obviously you're going to go to your photo. So this is the photo I'm using. I've already posted this on Instagram, but I'm going to show you what filter, like what I'd use to put the filter I have on this photo on my Instagram. So you're going to go to your photo. You're going in your camera roll. You're going to click the photo and then you're going to click these three dots, like, like the three dot line things with the dots in them. And then it should pull up like this. And then you're going to click the faded three circles on each other. And it gives you an option of all these different fades. So there's none, mono, tonal, nor, fade, chrome, process, transfer, and instant. So I click fade. And so basically that is what you're going to do. That's the filter that I use. So I click done. And then after that, I'm done with the theme. But also, there's one more theme that I definitely use that I recommend if you really want to create your own filter. You can go download VSCO, and it's literally um, a app that just creates like felt like um, themes. So you're going to click the tap button and. You're gonna click the tap button, you're gonna click your photo, you're going to click check mark, and then the photo should pop up on the home screen. You're going to click the photo, click the two lines with like the lines on them, and then it gives you an option on all these like whatever, uh, whatever like filters that you want to use. So there's like some that are locked, but I have these unlocked. So I'm going to do C1, and then you can move it if you click it twice, and then create a different, like a different effect. Um, create like the tone you want of the so I did 5.8 and C1 and then you're going to click the two lines again and then it gives you an option of exposure saturation stuff like that so I usually kind of just play around to see what I like so I like that two point maybe a little bit higher like right there 0.7 um, contrast you can do like that I do 2.5 Saturation, saturation, you can make it very orange, light, I'm gonna do like 0.8. See, like you can just create whatever one, you can just play around with this app and I definitely recommend this app if you really want something you, that you can create. Um, tint, I'll do like a pinkish color, 2.7. Fade, I like the fade effect, it's really cute. 6.1, um, just kind of play around with it, I mean, this app doesn't cost any money, definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, so after you create like the filter or theme you're going for, you're gonna click save. And then this does not pull up publish to anything. It's just like there to create a different photo look or to save it. And so you can hold this down. It shows you what your photo looks like. You're gonna click it, click the three dots, and then you're going to save the camera roll, actual size. And then once you're finished, you can obviously go to Instagram and then it should be saved to your camera roll and you can post it like that. So that is kind of what you do. That's kind of what I do like every time I create a new theme. If I create a new theme, I definitely use VSCO, but I found the Latin, the like the fade look, um, the fade tint in my camera roll, like in the camera roll where you edit your photos, and I definitely like that, so I kind of use my camera roll right now, but once I change my theme, I will go back to the VSCO app. But if you really don't know what type of, like what you want to create on this app, you go to Safari, and then you are going to say VCC, V, VS, CO filters and then you're gonna go to images and then it gives you a bunch of ideas on like what like what exposure like what type of exposure how many um, contrast so you click a photo and it says preset a that's the first thing that you did 
I click C1, you would do A6, exposure to contrast to highlight six, stuff like that. So you can kind of just play around and see what filter you definitely like the most. And like whatever you like, you just follow what's on the internet and then you do that same exact thing and then that's the color you'll get when you're done with when you're done editing your photo. So basically I have this photo. This is the one that I post um post on my Instagram, this filter. And then I used a different photo, but I created a different effect on the VSCO app. So definitely, I those are the like the main two things that I use. I mean, there's nothing really special. A lot of people use the app, uh, the VSCO app. Um, it's very popular. A lot of like um, you can get a lot of ideas off that app. And if you really want to do something like that, it's the app is free, but you, it does cost some money to get like different filters and like, the ones that I showed you guys that were not unlocked. So that is that's basically what I do every time I take a photo or something. I use that filter, post it on Instagram, or sometimes like depends on the lighting. When I use the so basically when I use the fade the fade filter on my in my camera roll, it sometimes makes me look ghostly, and like I do have to go to the other app that I use and I have to go to skin tone and make my face look like I have a tan instead of like white skin or being pale or something like that so if you do have a problem with using the fade filter definitely just go to that app if you download it and click skin tone and like reduce the lighting or something like that that's usually what I do so those are two main apps or I mean those are two main things that I do to edit my Instagram photos no, nothing really special um, I definitely like to take photos, obviously, um, and I like to put filters on them, and that's my, ca like, that's my filter, I guess, on Instagram. It's pretty much fade, is what you want to call it. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure you follow my Instagram at love underscore emma underscore 26 and also Emma Marie's world. And comment down below if you have a filter on your photos like do you post a theme do you have a theme with your instagram so, something like that um yes i do i used to have a black and white theme and then i changed it because black and white is basic and i don't like it so i changed to that and i'm not going to delete the photos because like i only have so many certain photos on there and i only like need to build my photos back up because i deleted all of them when i got older i mean like my age right now so anyways hope you enjoyed today's video and bye guys